I'm a big believer in the silver lining of going through something tough is so that you can share what you learn from it and hopefully help somebody else out. You go through something to save someone. Plus, I gotta post this video to avoid me making the same faux pas that I made a year ago, but more on that later. So, a year ago today, my grandmother passed away. Now, the grandmother who passed away is not the grandmother you know. The reason you don't know my other grandmother is because she's the total opposite of granny. She's patient, forgiving, she doesn't want to be a witch. You know, all the qualities that make for an amazing grandmother, but pretty boring content. When she passed away last year, I made the mistake of mentioning it to a few people. And all those conversations went like this. Yeah, um, unfortunately, my grandmother just passed away. Wait, what do you mean she just died? I literally just watched a video of her. No, actually, it was my other grandmother. Oh, thank God. I am so happy that it was your other grandmother that died. My world is so much better knowing that your other grandmother is dead. It's like, yo, I'm not fishing for sympathy here, but the least you could do is not celebrate my grandma's demise. Something I never took for granted, I thought about it often, was the fact that I had three of my grandparents well into my adult life. What I did take for granted, though, was time. If I was a betting man, which I am, I would have bet that Grandma Doyle would have been here for at least another decade. And that's how I operated. I operated on the idea that someday I would have time to go over there and get to know her more. Someday, I get to hear her stories about what it was like growing up in southwest Philadelphia in such a bad neighborhood that she got a police scanner just so she could listen to the crimes that she was seeing outside of her window. Or someday, I would get to know what it was like hitching to the shore and renting a room for a nickel above a pizza plate. Someday, I would get to know her perspective of what it was like raising 11 kids in a southwest Philadelphia row home. But I missed that chance. Look, it's not lost on me that there's a really good chance that the granny that you know goes before I do. And to be honest, I don't have a freaking clue what the protocol is when something like that happens. I hate thinking that I have a unique situation because at the end of the day, I think the reasons movies and videos and music resonates with people is because we're all alike. But dude, I don't know too many people that have a social media account with over a million followers that aren't there for him at all, but for their grandmother. <laughs> There's no handbook for that, and it's a bit confusing. I digress. My point is, I hope the videos with the mum that you know help people avoid the mistake that I made with the mum you don't know. And that's taking time for granted. And I'm not just talking about personal relationships. It can be anything. I mean, hobbies, a trip you want to take someday. Here's the thing. Someday never comes. You can't plan on someday. Someday never comes. I appreciate you guys watching, especially because, like I said, this video is helping me avoid the same faux pas that I made a year ago today. Unfortunately, the day my grandmother passed unexpectedly, I had two videos scheduled to be posted. One on YouTube, one on Facebook. With everything going on that day, I forgot they were even scheduled. And when I got the notifications that they were up, I started freaking out. Like, <laughs> could... Talk about a bad look. Two videos about my other grandmother the day Mum Mum dies. Like, how am I going to look my aunts, uncles, and cousins in the eye? I swear it was scheduled. I feel like a big enough jackass as is by just having a YouTube. These videos will just be the cherry on top. See? I knew he was a self-absorbed asshole. So shout out to my cousin Dan for talking me off a ledge and reminding me to get out of my own head. And shout out to cousin Rose who had a post today which was not only beautifully written, but reminded me that today was the one year anniversary. I'm not good with dates, people. Otherwise, I was set to share a video titled, Wear a Mask, Save a Grandma, which pretty much revolves around the idea of grandma dying. So I will delay sharing my below average thing in hopes that my family is not reminded that I'm a total jackass. And more importantly, I hope it encourages somebody watching this to not plan on someday. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you can see when that video does come out. I'm actually really excited about it. It's a fun little video that hopefully makes me remember to wear a mask because I don't know about you, but the amount of times I forget a mask when I leave my house drives me crazy. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay positive, and cherish the little things because they won't be here forever.